This is an extension for activity three, Fabulous Fish, uh, from lesson 14, using linear relations to solve problems. And I became very interested in changing the ratio of each of these kinds of fish and seeing what you get as far as I'm always spending $210, but what if I change the ratio from an equal number of pounds of each fish to one quarter the weight for one fish and three fourths the weight for the other fish? and so on. So I actually ended up putting together three extensions, and this is just the first extension of those three. And so in this extension, I do change those ratios. So a half of, a half of the amount of tilapia and half the number of pounds of salmon, one-fourth tilapia, three-fourths salmon. And I even went up to two-fifths um, two tilapia and three-fifths salmon. Actually, here I switched them. So one-fourth tilapia, three-fourths salmon, and then I switched it to three-fourths tilapia and one-fourth salmon, and then finally the two-fifths tilapia, three-fifths salmon. And then I put together another extension, which I'll do in a few minutes, and that one is comparing the standard form of the equation to the slope-intercept form of the equation using these three different ratios. And finally, what happens if you move from fractions to using decimal values, which also gets us into percent. So I want 40% tilapia and 60% salmon. So what happens when you move to that situation? But first of all, let's look at the ratio of tilapia to salmon, where it's an equal number of pounds. So this was the 26 and a quarter pounds of tilapia and 26 and a quarter pounds of salmon. So there is another equation that you can use to solve this problem, to help solve this problem. And that is simply that y equals x. So the pounds of tilapia equals the number of pounds of salmon. So y equals x. That's an equation. It has a slope of 1, and it has a y-intercept of 0. So this is a proportional relationship. I increase the tilapia, in this case 10 pounds. I increase the salmon 10 pounds. I increase the tilapia 20 pounds. I increase the salmon 20 pounds. And the problem that we have is 26 and quarter pounds and 26 and a quarter pounds. Now that point solves this equation, y equals x, because they're both the same amount of fish, but it also solves the first equation, which is 3x plus 5y equals 210, because $3 times 26 and a quarter pounds plus $5 times 26 and a quarter pounds adds together to equal that $210. So this point is a solution to both of these equations that are um, represented by each of these lines. So now, if I use this equation, y equals x, and I replace y with x, because y equals x. So I can do that. So I can replace that y with x, and now I have 3x plus 5x equals 210, um, in this case, dollars. And so I realized in doing this that I could actually act out this problem so if I take $8, if I have $8 and I go into the store and I buy fish with $8, I'm gonna, I can buy one pound of tilapia, cost me $3, and I can buy one pound of salmon, cost me $5. That's my $8. Now the number of times I can do that is 210 divided by eight. So this is showing that they're equal parts each. So this is one pound of tilapia, one pound of salmon. So now every $8, so I go into the store, I have $8. I buy one pound of tilapia, and I buy one pound of salmon. So from my $210, if I can imagine going into the store and always spending $8 of that, how many times can I do that? Well, I can do that 26 and a quarter times. Now it's weird to talk about a quarter times, but it works to visually see what's going on in this problem. So I can go in 26 and a quarter times, spend $8 each time, and use up my $210. So that means I can buy one pound of salmon, of, of tilapia, 26 and a quarter times, so that's 26 and a quarter pounds, and I can also buy one pound of salmon, 26 and a quarter times, so that's 26 and a quarter pounds of salmon. And the cost, we figured this out before, is going to be $3 times 26 and a quarter pounds is $78.75. And, 
plus five dollars times 26 and a quarter pounds it's going to be a 131 dollars and 25 cents you add them together you get that 210 dollars now if you keep this picture in mind of going into the store and spending the amount of money that you need to buy one pound and one pound and then ex um, expand that to the total amount of money that model that picture helped me anyway understand the rest of these problems so let's say that instead of a, an equal weight of each that i have um, one-fourth the weight in tilapia and three-fourths the weight in salmon so this y here now is going to be 3x that's three times the amount of tilapia so this ratio of three pounds of salmon for every one pound of tilapia is a slope. It's a ratio of three to one. That's a slope. So I'm going to go in the x direction for every one unit or one pound of tilapia. I'm going to buy three pounds. One, two, three pounds of salmon. So buy one pound of tilapia, buy three pounds of salmon. So I'm going to get a line that goes from here and up in this direction. It has a slope of three. So that's for one-fourth the amount is tilapia and three-fourths the amount is salmon. So y equals 3x. So the slope is three, the y-intercept is zero, so this is a proportional relationship. Now the point where they these two lines intersect is the answer to that question. That's gonna be the weight of tilapia and the weight of salmon. And you can see that it's a little bit more than um, it's 10, 11 pounds, a little bit more than 11 pounds for tilapia. And it's easier to see the salmon. This is um, 30 pounds. This is 40 pounds. So it looks like it's going to be about 35 pounds for salmon. All right, so now remember, we can now um, switch out y for 3x because y is equal to 3x. So now how much money can I go into the store with the first time and buy one pound of tilapia and three pounds of salmon? So that amount of money is three dollars for the one pound of tilapia and I need fifteen dollars for three pounds of salmon. So five dollars times three pounds is equal to fifteen dollars for three pounds of salmon. So that's eighteen dollars I can go into the store with. Every time I take in eighteen dollars I buy one pound of tilapia and three pounds of salmon. So how many times can I do that? How many times can I go in with eighteen dollars out of my two hundred ten dollars and make that purchase? Well that's two hundred ten dollars divided by eighteen. That means I can do that 11 and 2 thirds times. I can spend $18. So here's the 11 and 2 thirds times I can spend $18. That means I'm going to buy 11 and 2 thirds pounds of tilapia. Going into the store 11 and 2 thirds times each time I'm buying a pound of tilapia. And I'm also buying 3 pounds of salmon. So I can do that 11 and 2 thirds times. So that's 3 times 11 and 2 thirds. That's this 3x right here. 3 times 11 and 2 thirds. So that's 35 pounds right here. 35 pounds of salmon. So 1 fourth of what I purchase, 11 and 2 thirds pounds is tilapia. 3 fourths of what I purchase, 35 pounds, is salmon. So that looks like this. One fourth is tilapia, that's 11 and 2 thirds pounds. Three fourths of salmon is salmon, that's three times one fourth. So that equals 35 pounds. So three times 11 and 2 thirds is 35 pounds. I'm sorry. Yeah, three, not three, not this three times 11 and 2 thirds, it's this three dollars times 11 and 2 thirds. That can get a little bit confusing. This 3x up here is different than this 3x. This is $3 times one pound. This is three times one pound, not $3, but
but three times one pound to get three pounds. This is three dollars times one pound. So it's a little bit different, it can get confusing. But it's three dollars per pound times 11 and two thirds pounds equals $35 for the tilapia. So that's this $35 right here. This is gonna equal $35 and $175 for the salmon. I'm getting three times as much at $5 a pound. So $5 times is 35 pounds, which is three times 11 and two thirds is $175. So this is $175. So notice the amount of money is a decrease from $210, remember 42 pounds is gonna cost me, of salmon is gonna cost me $210. That decrease in salmon has to be equal to $35. And so if you look here, you're decreasing the salmon from 42 pounds to 35 pounds. That's a decrease of seven pounds and it's $5 per pound. So $5 per pound times seven pounds is that decrease of $35 and that's an increase of $35 for the tilapia because it's um, three times 11 and two thirds pounds. So whatever the increase is in the cost of tilapia has to be a decrease in the cost of salmon. They have to be equal. And that's this negative three fifths. It comes from this equation right here. The slope is a negative three fifths. I thought I wrote that somewhere. So let's look at if, what happens if we switch it. So now we have three-fourths of the purchase is going to be um, tilapia and one-fourth is gonna be salmon. So y is equal to the amount of salmon and three y is gonna be x. Three y is gonna equal the amount of tilapia. So that gives you a slope of, for every three units along the x-axis, that's a one unit along the y-axis. So X is three units and Y is one unit. So it's one, two, three, and Y is gonna go up one unit. One, two, three along the X axis, up one unit along the Y axis. So it's gonna be a line around here somewhere and that slope is one third. Three units in the Y direction, one unit, I'm sorry, three units in the X direction, one unit in the Y direction. That is a slope of one third. So it's this line, one, two, three, up one, one, two, three, one, two, three, up one. So that's a slope of one third. All right, so from the graph, you can see that this point right here is at um, 45 pounds. It's 10, 20, 30, 40, and halfway is 45 pounds. And this is 15 pounds of salmon. So this is 10 and then halfway is 15 pounds of salmon. So you can actually get that from the graph. 45 pounds of tilapia, 15 pounds of salmon. So the total purchase is 60 pounds. One fourth of that 60 pounds is salmon 15 pounds and three fourths of that 60 pounds is tilapia 45 pounds. But let's use the equation, let's use that model of going in and purchasing an amount of salmon and tilapia amount of fish each time and see what we get. All right, so I can change out this X with three Y's. So this is three times um, as much tilapia salmon. So this is um, one Y and this is three Y's. So this is one fourth and this is three fourths. So now I have three dollars times three pounds of tilapia. So that's nine dollars, that's nine Y and five dollars times one pound of salmon. So that's five dollars times one pound. So the number of dollars is fourteen dollars times the amount of fish, the amount of times I can do that. So I go into the store with $14. I buy three pounds of tilapia. The, the um, cashier tells me that's gonna cost me $9 for the tilapia. I have $5 
left over from my $14 I can spend, I can buy one pound of salmon. So how many times can I do that? I can do that, that's division, I can do that 210 divided by 14 times. Divide, I'm sorry, divide by 14. That means I can do that 15 times. Every $14 buys three pounds of tilapia and one pound of salmon. I can do that 15 times. I can buy three pounds of tilapia 15 times. So this three times, this three right here is three pounds. And I can purchase that three pounds 15 times. That's 45 pounds of tilapia. And this y right here is just one y so it's one pound and i can purchase that one pound 15 times so 15 pounds of salmon these are the dollar amounts this five dollars and three dollars so you don't use those just yet so it's 15 pounds of salmon and 45 pounds of tilapia so three dollars times 45 pounds so now it's this three dollars times 45 pounds, this is three times 15, because I can do this 15 times. So that's 45 pounds of tilapia times three. It's $135 of tilapia, and five $5 times 15 pounds of salmon. I can do, I can buy one pound 15 times. So that's five pounds, $5 times 15 pounds is $75 of salmon. Add those two together and you get $210. All right, one more time. So it's by doing this, and this is tough, and you can see where I have to stall a little bit, and, and even though I've been through this a lot, I still have to think carefully about what I'm doing. So let's change a little bit more and see if it becomes a little bit more understandable, maybe a little bit more comfortable in thinking about it. So let's say that you're going to purchase two fists of your purchase is going to be in tilapia and three-fifths of your purchase will be in salmon. So two-fifths of pounds tilapia and three-fifths of the pounds in salmon. So the tilapia is two-fifths, so that's an X and an X, and the salmon is three Ys. So if each of these is a pound, so that would be two pounds of tilapia and three pounds of salmon. So 3y is going to be the same as 3x. And that ratio, 3 um, pounds of salmon for every 2 pounds of tilapia, a slope of the line for the ratio of tilapia to salmon. So that slope is 3 halves. Every 2 units of tilapia, you're going to buy 3 pounds or 3 units of salmon. So that's 2 units is x. 3 units is y. So that slope is 3 halves. So that's this line right here. So two units of salmon, three units of tilapia, I'm sorry, two units of tilapia, three units of salmon. Two units of tilapia, three units of salmon. So where these two lines intersect, that point right there is a solution to both of those equations. This is the fraction of, this is where x is one or two-fifths the purchase and y is three-fifths the purchase. And at the same time, the dollar amount is going to be $210. All right, so how do you get there? So I walk into the store. Um, if I change this y right here, this is 5y to 3y. So this is going to be, this is three times as much, and this is 2x. This is two, if you just talk about five pounds, this would be two pounds and this would be three pounds. So two times x and three times y it comes from over here. Two x and three y. But remember that three y is the same as three x. Each one of these squares is a pound. There's an equal amount. So six x, three times two x plus five times three x gives you a total of $21 to spend when you go into the store. So now that same model of walking into the store, I walk in the store, I'm going to spend $21. I'm going to spend, um, I'm going to buy two pounds of tilapia. So the cashier is going to tell me that cost me $6 because two times one pound is, um, is two pounds times this $3 is going to cost me $6. And I'm going to buy three pounds of salmon. So three times um, 
three pounds times five dollars is going to be the other fifteen dollars. So again, I'm going to spend twenty-one dollars and spend six dollars on the tilapia and fifteen dollars, three times five dollars, on the salmon. So again, how many times can I do that? How many times can I walk into the store and spend twenty-one dollars every time I'm going to purchase two fifths tilapia and three fifths salmon? Well, I can do that. $210 divided by 21 times, I can do that 10 times. Every $21 equals two pounds of tilapia, three pounds of salmon. So I can do that 10 times. So that means I'm gonna buy two pounds of tilapia 10 times. So I'm gonna buy 20 pounds of tilapia, and I'm gonna buy three pounds of salmon 10 times. So I'm gonna buy 30 pounds of salmon. So I'm gonna buy actually a total of 50 pounds of fish. So 20 pounds of tilapia cost $3 times 20 pounds, cost me $60. And 30 pounds of salmon cost $5 times 30 pounds is $150. And you add them together and you get that $210. And remember that the decrease in the amount of money for salmon has to equal the increase in the amount of money for tilapia. So if I'm going to increase the tilapia by 20 pounds times $3, that's $60 increase. This has to be a $60 decrease. And so if you look, you're going from 42 pounds down to 30 pounds, that's a 12 pound decrease. And it's $5 for each of those pounds. So five times $12 is that $60. And 12 is also three fifths of 20. So it's a decrease of three fifths of x. x is 20, 12 is 3 fifths of 20, so it's a decrease of 12. So here's the $60. I, I'm, I need to spend $60 or $60 less for the salmon. So $60 divided by that $5 per pound is equal to 12 pounds. So I'm going to buy 12 pounds less of salmon. So it's going to get me down to 30 pounds, and I'm going to buy 20 pounds more of tilapia. So the tilapia goes up to 20 pounds, and the salmon goes down from 42 pounds, goes down to 30 pounds. So 20 pounds of tilapia, 30 pounds of salmon. And I put up here that this is a total, two-fifths of the total number of pounds, and three-fifths of the total number of pounds. One last time. So 20 pounds of tilapia, 30 pounds of salmon. So um, the total number of pounds is 50 pounds. So if I use this equation here and I use 20 as the, the number of pounds of salmon, 3 halves of 20, 20 divided by 2 is 10, 3 times 10 is 30. So 3 halves of 20 is 30. So the equation for this line, y equals 3 halves x works. And if I plug in 20 pounds for tilapia and 30 pounds for salmon, 3 times 20 is 60, 5 times 30 is 150, add those together, $210 works for the solution for this equation at this point right here. So both um, lines, the equation for both lines can be solved with this point, 20, 30.